the question number 21 which states that an electric dipole is placed in an electric field generated by a point charge the net force on the dipole must be zero the torque on the dipole due to the field must be zero the torque on the dipole due to the field must be non zero the torque on the dipole due to field may be zero now dear student just consider a point charge and its electric fields are like this Now just take the situations that uh, electric dipole is placed inside this field. The net electric force on the dipole must be zero. This is not necessary because if dipole is placed like this, then here electric field is less than that point. That means if dipole is placed along the electric field line, that then F net will be non equal to zero. Now torque on the dipole due to the field must be zero. It is also not necessary. Let dipole is placed at some angle, then there will be some force and there will be some force. Hence net torque will be non-zero. Now the torque on the dipole of the field must be non-zero. It is also not necessary because if dipole is placed along this line, then forces are passing through the center of the dipole. That means net torque can also be zero. That's not Option 4 is the torque on the dipole due to the field may be zero. Yes, this is correct answer. This may be zero but not must be. Hence, option 4 is the best answer. Now move to the question number 22 which states that consider the situation as shown in the figure. The work done in taking a point charge from point P to A is WA, from point P to B is WB and from point P to C is WC. Then here Dear students, as we can see that for point charge Q, this point A, B and point C is lying on a equipotential sphere. That means from point P to C, from point P to B, for point P to A, potential differences are same. Hence work done will also be same. That means WA, WB, WC will be equal because we know that delta V for P to C that will be equal to Vp minus Vc. Delta V for P to B that will be equal to Vp minus Vb. Delta V for P to A that will also be Vp minus Va. But here Va, Vb and Vc are equipotential that means their potentials are same. That means these differences are same. Hence from the formula W equal to Q into delta V, the WA, WB and WC will be same. Hence option number 2 will be the correct answer. Now move to the question number 23 which states that if one of the two electrons of H2 molecules is removed, we get a hydrogen ion H2+. Now the ground state of an H2 plus ion, two part protons are separated by approximately 1.5 angstrom and the electrons is roughly 1 angstrom from each proton, then the potential energy of the system is. Now dear student consider the situation, let this is one proton, this is one proton, this is P and P and here is a one electron that was removed. Now it is given that this distance is 1.5 angstrom and this distance is approximately 1 angstrom. Now we know that u total is equal to u12 plus u13 plus u23. Now here u12 means upp plus upe plus UEP. Okay. Now we can calculate as VEP that will be equal to minus KE square upon A that will be equal to let it is A1 then it will be minus 9 into 10 k power 9 into 1.6 into 10 k power minus 19 divided by A that means 1 angstrom that is 10 k power minus 10 ev after solving we will get as minus 14.4 electron volt similarly u pp as 
प्लस के ई स्क्वायर अपॉन ए टू एंड इट विल बी इक्वल टू नाइन इंटू टेन पावर नाइन इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन पावर माइनस नाइनटीन डिवाइड बाई वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन पावर माइनस टेन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट एंड इट विल बी इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट देन वॉट विल यू द टोटल यू दैट विल बी इक्वल टू नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट प्लस टू टाइम्स ऑफ माइनस फोर्टीन पॉइंट फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट नाउ आफ्टर सॉल्विंग वी विल गेट एज माइनस नाइनटीन पॉइंट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट एज अ होल एंसर एंड ऑप्शन नंबर वन विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर Now move to the question number twenty-four, which states that a charge one by nine nanocoulomb is uniformly distributed over a thin rod AB of length one meter, is as shown in the figure. The electric potential at point O, lying at distance two meter from end A, is. Now, dear students, just consider the situation. This is a rod. This length is one meter. and at some distance this is point o where we have to calculate a potential now at distance x from point o consider a distance dx this element has charge dq then what will be the potential due to this element at this point o dv can be calculated as k dq upon x and this will be equal to lambda into dx upon x now integrating this we will get integration of dv equal to integration of k lambda dx upon x now putting the values let now this was and a and this was and b that means what will be the potential difference that will be equal to k lambda into dx that is dx upon x from what will be the value at this end this distance is 1 meter and from here to here this will be 2 that means we have to integrate from 1 equal 1 to 2 now what will be the value that will be k lambda into ln 2 now put the value of k that will be 9 into 10 power 9 into lambda is nothing but 1 by 9 into 10 power minus 9 ln 2 that means v will be equal to ln 2 volt hence option 2 will be correct now move to the question number 25 five capacitors are joined in a circuit as shown in the figure The capacitance of each capacitor is 1.4 microfarad. The equivalent capacitance between the point A and B. Now, dear students, just see. This is point A. That means this point, this point, and this point will also be point A. Okay. Now, this point will be B because this point and this point is B. Now, we can see that between A and B, this is also B. between a and b 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 all the capacitors are connected between a and b then we can redraw the circuit as there are five capacitors and all are in parallel combination as we know that what is the c parallel that will be equal to c1 c2 plus c3 C4 plus C5. Since all are of 1.4 microfarad, then it will be 5 into 1.4 microfarad. That is equal to 7 microfarad. Now, which option will be correct? Option number four will be the correct answer.